Debian, one of the most respected and versatile Linux distribution out there. If you are not familiar, Debian is known for its stability, performance, and massive open source community support. It is the foundation for many other Linux uh, distribution you might hear of. Ever wondered about trying Debian but not sure how to make it work with your Windows 11 setup? Well, you are in luck. In this video, we will guide you through uh, dual booting Debian alongside Windows 11. We will also help you to say bye to Debian if you ever want just Windows. But before we jump in uh, into the Debian dual boot adventure, let me share a quick look at my system. So I have i7 9 gen uh, processor and reliable 8 gigs of RAM. If your 6 specs are a bit slower, don't worry, you can still join the fun. Before you dive into the Linux goodness, there is a crucial step, creating a partition. So let me quick up uh, open the disk management tool. So here as you can see, I got one big 1TB uh, SSD with 451GB dedicated to Windows 11. Lucky for us, there is a sweet spot of 500GB unallocated space. That's where uh, Debian uh, will find its new home. You can install Debian in a 50GB partition but I recommend going for uh, 100GB partition uh, if you can spare it. Uh, Alright. Uh, moving on to the next step uh, to get Debian onto your system, we need two things Rufus and of course Debian ISO file. Don't worry, I will put uh, the download link in the description box. Time to make our pen drive bootable, so let me open Rufus. And here you need to connect your uh, pen drive first. So let me check it out in desk, desk management. Uh, let me connect my pen drive first. Here as you can see my pen drive is uh, visible here. Uh, now uh, as you can see pen drive is connected. Make sure it's empty because this process will bid uh, farewell to any existing data. So make sure to backup all the uh, data uh, in your pen drive. Now in Rufus select your pen drive and choose on the Debian ISO file for boot. And uh, let me select it. Now uh, don't do anything here just click on the start button. And watch Rufus work, work its magic. And be patient, the process might take 8 to 9 minutes depending on your pen drive. Uh, so, let me fast forward the video. Alright, our pen drive is now become bootable. Uh, let's quickly look at the Debian file in our file manager. So let me open file manager. So guys, these are the file uh, that will do uh, Debian installation magic. And these are the uh, this file will help uh, in installation uh, Debian in our system. Now. Uh, to start a Debian journey, we need to reboot our system into the BIOS. Uh, so let me open the uh, CMD, but uh, I'm gonna close this as we need to run this as administrator. So let me open uh, another terminal as administrator. And guys, uh, we need to boot the system into the BIOS, but uh, we will do a smart way with just simple one command. You need to uh, run this command. And it will boot your direct, uh, it will boot your system directly into the BIOS. So let's wait for it. All right, our system uh, is in BIOS. Uh, we have got one simple job: just turn off the secure boot. So let me disable it. Uh, think of secure boot as a uh, as your system bouncer, allowing a trusted operating system to enter the party. Since we want Debian on the guest uh, on the guest list, uh, we are asking the bouncer to take a break for now. Easy peasy. Uh, let's take a next step and time to boot our system into the boot menu. So go to exit tab and here or you can uh, press F10 and hit enter. And now uh, it will ask for saving the changes. So yes, hit uh, enter on yes and it will boot your system into the boot menu. Uh, but you need to pick, uh, keep pressing F12. Um, my laptop is Lenovo so I need to press uh, F12. Alright, our system is in boot menu. Now you can see a pen drive boot option, so hit enter and it will boot the system into the Debian OS. And now in the Debian screen, choose live system option. We are aiming for simplicity with the GUI installer, so kick back and uh, relax and uh, let the Debian do its thing.
our system is now ported into the Debian OS. Uh, first, we need to open uh, GUI installer. Uh, so let me open it first. Okay, so here first you need to select your preferred language, keyboard, and location. So let me select uh, for it. Now, this is the main part of the whole video, selecting or assigning partition. As we want flexibility and whole access to partition, so we will select manual partitioning here. Uh, and we have many options uh, like uh, install alongside replace partition. But uh, I'm gonna select manual partitioning and click on next. Now guys, uh, here you will need to select our disk first. So uh, as you can see, here is my disk. So let me select it. And as you can see, my uh, analog 500 GB partition. Now we need to create uh, three partition. First for uh, sub partition, uh, boot partition and root partition. So I'm gonna uh, create first uh, sub partition which is about 8 GB. And in the file system you need to select Linux app and flag, flag as swap and enter any label you want. I'm gonna give it swap and click on OK. Now swap partition is created. It's time to create uh, another partition which is a uh, boot partition. So uh, select analog disk speed and click on create. Now uh, I'm gonna assign uh, 1 GB uh, to this boot partition. So let me write it. And guys file system uh, must be FAT32. And here in mount bind you need to select boot slash EFI. And uh, in the flag, uh, click on, tick on boot. Here we go and uh, give any uh, label you want. So our two partition are created. Now it's time to create uh, last and uh, which is uh, root partition. I'm gonna alloc assign uh, 200 GB to this uh, root partition. So uh, now it's time to select flag as root and in the mount point you need to select root and file system is ext4 and click on ok. Now uh, everything is done. Our three partitions are created. All our partitions are ready to roll. Now uh, click on next to set up your username and password. and uh, double check everything as you can always go back to make changes hit install button and this uh, might take around 10 to 12 minutes i'm gonna fast forward the video to make it short Congratulations, Debian has been installed successfully in our, in our system. Now it's time to reboot the system as it is asking for reboot. So let me reboot it first. So guys, as you can see, this is the grab port loader as it is uh, already installed with the Debian installation and detected Windows OS also. No need to uh, worry about manual installing grub. Now uh, let's reboot our system into the Debian OS and explore uh, Debian for the first time. Fantastic. Our system has successfully booted into the freshly installed Debian OS. Uh, let's quickly uh, complete the onboarding process. As you can see, uh, this is how uh, it looks like. Uh, the interface is based on Genome and very similar to Ubuntu and Pop OS. Now, uh, 
let's check the system specification so let me navigate to the setting and here as you can see uh, Debian uh, and my processor and, and all now uh, we will do some essential tweaks so let's start by uh, enabling uh, tap to click since it is disabled by default so head over to mouse and touchpad setting and uh, let's make it uh, enable it as you can see it is enabled uh, and now uh, we need to uh, do another thing which is uh, making system up to date so let me open terminal type sudo apt update to update the system repositories before installing uh, any software into our Debian OS there you have it by this way you can install Debian uh, with Windows 11 into your system easy peasy right uh, now go ahead and make the most of Debian dive into its rich ecosystem discover the array of software it offers and enjoy the freedom that come with uh, using powerful open source operating system happy Debian -y. Now if you have decided to bid farewell uh, to Debian and restore window only setup, don't worry, I got you. Uh, let's uh, gracefully exit Debian and bring back to Windows. So I am gonna uh, boot my system into the Windows. Alright, we are back in our windows environment. Uh, so first let me open the disk management tool. Uh, now we will start the, uh, start by deleting the Debian partition. Right click on the root partition which uh, is 200 GB, uh, usually the largest one and uh, select delete uh, volume and uh, do same uh, for the uh, sub partition. So let me delete all the partitions. You may notice a uh, small partition FAT32. Uh, that's what you that was used by Debian. Unfortunately, you cannot uh, directly delete uh, from disk management. Uh, you will need more advanced method. But we are not going to show you uh, this pro that process as this uh, this will make our video so lengthy. All right. And now uh, it's time to open command prompt as administrator. So let me open it first. And here you need to type bcd edit uh, space slash enum space firmware and hit enter. Uh, this command will uh, list all the boot entries uh, uh, in, in your into your system. So as you can see this is my windows boot entries uh, but we need to search for Debian. And here we have. Now uh, here you need to copy the identifier of this uh, uh, boot entry. To remove the boot entry type bcd edit. Uh, slash delete and paste uh, the identifier uh, and hit enter uh, it will uh, delete the boot entry uh, Debian boot entry from the system uh, as you can see the operation was successful congratulations Debian boot entry is not deleted uh, so there you have it whether you are diving uh, deep diving into the Debian or cruising back to windows I hope this guide was uh, a smoothing sailing for you if you found this uh, video handy hit like and subscribe more uh, tech trick are on the way if you have any question drop them in the comments. Thank you for joining us today. We will uh, we'll look forward to addressing more uh, of your tech queries in the future. Stay curious, tech savvy and stay connected.